Uh, this is a budding basket weeder that we use alone and in conjunction with the uh, Lily weeder. Uh, our beds are 60 inches from wheel track center to wheel track center. All my tractors are set up that way. And I can seed uh, three rows of spinach, radishes, what have you, at 17 inches apart. So these are set up to do pretty much all the crops as well um, as I can use this side dresser in conjunction with it to uh, scuffle in, uh, do the activity of the machine. I can scuffle in uh, calcium nitrate, whatever I want to put on. These are a little different than some, and uh, you'll notice the wires here are at ang an angle. I used to have just flat, straight wires across like that, but I put them on the edge because uh, I put these angled uh, wires on at the edge so I get a little more aggressive action on the edges of my bed. And uh, the, I guess another thing to point out perhaps is that uh, we use, uh, I use one chain, uh, I use a couple of chains on so that I get the uh, driving action uh, in the back, that rear set of baskets will, as you can see, turns a little faster than the front ones. This kind of dimples into the soil and roots out the plant, and that second line will come right behind and sort of kick it out, kick it out, under, and so it lays on top of the ground. So uh, I understand that some growers will use these units without chains and run them over the top of the row, but right now I'm using it, uh, set up like this, to kick weeds out. Um, throw a little soil into the plant, and then by coming behind with the lily, I can also uh, kick a little more soil and whatever, break up any clods or small clods that are on top of the soil surface. The tractor speed that I use really depends upon the soil I'm in and how, how much soil I'm throwing around and how small the, the, uh, the crop that I'm cultivating is. Uh, you're in beans and, and they're up pretty good. I'll, you know, I'll clip along four to six miles an hour. Uh, got out some newly transplanted lettuce and I want to go between it. I'm a little, a little more tender with the joystick, I guess. Vegetable farmers and their weed control machines. In this video, we visit nine vegetable farms in three New England states to talk with growers about their weed control equipment and how it's used. They will describe a variety of cultivation tools and approaches to weed control. Hopefully, their knowledge and experience will help you get a better understanding of cultivation equipment and techniques. Matching cultivation tools to the soils, crops, weeds, and other particulars of a farm can be a complex task. Growers that are trying to reduce or eliminate their reliance on herbicides need information that will help them make good decisions about cultivation and weed control. Extension, research, and the private sector working together can generate that kind of information. Funded in part by the USDA Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program, promoting environmentally sound and economically viable agriculture. This video was produced by Vern Grubinger, University of Vermont Extension System, and Mary Jane Else, University of Massachusetts Agroecology Program.